How's it going guys? So I thought I'd film this short little uh, video of me doing a bit of a modification on the Ducati X Diablo S here. So here we have the, uh, obviously we've got the passenger seat, we've got the pillion seat and what I'm going to be doing today is actually removing the backrest because my missus isn't going to be riding pillion anytime soon being pregnant so I'm going to restore it back to the uh, look without the backrest. Now, um, if you have the X Diablo S, it comes standard with this, but today I'm gonna be showing you what you need to do to change it back. All right, so whether you bought this, uh, the bike with this already on, uh, then you should have actually uh, have from the manufacturer, when Ducati, when you bought it, the blanking plate for this because basically when you remove this backrest there's a gap um, where this used to be and obviously you're going to need to fill in that gap otherwise it'll look a bit ghetto so um, my bike I bought it second hand uh, second owner from so I'm the second owner from new and it didn't actually come with that so I've had to order the parts here what you need to do is you get this part here I'll put the part numbers in the description but you get this, which is basically like a blanking plate. And you also get this, which is a reflector. And the idea is this needs to push into there, like that. Yeah, and then you use the bolts, bolt it on there with some washers, and then this should fill in the gap, like there, where this used to be. Um, and it should be a direct swap, because that's just a reflector, actually. It doesn't actually... Uh, light up or anything um, so when you've got it in there it should be a straight light for light swap and all the bolts should come from removing the original one so I'm gonna set up the tripod and do a time lapse of the process so once we've taken the seat off and the passenger seat and taken the toolkit out um, it looks, it's supposed to be only uh, four bolts. You've got one bolt there, one bolt there, which is holding this back bit on. And you've also got two underneath here. So that's one there and one there. So let's take them off and see what we're dealing with. But we should be able to reuse these bolts when we put on the new one. All right, so just taking that off now, really easy. It literally was just those four bolts that I've got down there. And then here is the piece, which, you know, obviously take care of it in case you ever want to put it back on. But yeah, dead easy to remove. So now we have the new piece, which is going to fill in that blank. Obviously there, you know, got a big gap, so you need to fill it in. So this is it here. Now, I ordered this from direct from Ducati, Ducati Pass Direct. Put a link in the description but yeah literally like this reflector goes in these screw holes here um, but you don't actually get the bolts for them included um, you can order the bolts directly from them to tighten the reflector to the blanking plate um, but they charge you quite a lot for like I think it's like 15 pounds just for um, uh, a pack of bolts so I've already got some nuts anyway to be honest to tighten it so uh, and washers so I don't need that but I recommend just buying it from the hardware store to tighten that together so that's what I'm gonna do next and then we can bolt it back into there okay guys so you might want to bear in mind that the bolts for this are completely different from the bolts you just took out of the uh, backrest because these are actually too chunky and big. So um, bear that in mind. Luckily, I do have some spare bolts which I can use, which will fit there perfectly. Um, so bear that in mind. You'll probably need. If you, it's a good idea to get like a bolt pack. So you just got these lying around, but when they go, they kind of go in there. Um, where is it? When you put it in, you know, and it goes in there. Um, so you need to have washers to make sure it fit, you know, it, it clears that hole.
There you go guys, and it's finished. Really, really easy to do, anyone can do it. But yeah, it really, really cleans up that back end by getting rid of that. Obviously, if you're not carrying a pillion, then it's well worth doing. Um, and yeah, it just, you know, really tidies up that, that back end by not having that on there. And it sits a lot nicer. So yeah, it's really easy goes on there, reflectors on there. Um, there is like a slight like gap here, um, but you know, it's symmetrical, so I'm guessing it's meant to be like that. To be honest, these rear seats, you've got to be careful with them because it looks like the seams kind of split in there. See that? Um, so I'm probably gonna get this uh, reupholstered at some point. So that's something to bear in mind anyway, but yeah. Dead easy to do. I'll put the links in the description, guys. And hope you enjoyed this video and hope it helps you out if you plan on doing it. And I will catch you on the next one.